Hey Gemini, welcome back to the Guiding Chariot. This is going to be your uh, monthly reading, your general monthly reading for February. Um, house rules, this is going to be for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Um, my only ask, since it is general, take it as it resonates. Do not try to force any of the messages. If something pops up, doesn't fit your circumstances, just means that message wasn't for you, leave it on the table and take the rest. All right, Gemini. So, just some special things out of the way for this reading. If you have not yet seen the Chariot Chats video, I highly recommend you check it out. I talk about the astrology of the month, how it's affecting all of us, all the signs, including you. Um, so if you want to know more about that, definitely check that out. Um, I'm also recommending everyone check out the Aquarius video, uh, mostly because Aquarius, Aquarius is getting a lot of action a lot of action. So no matter what sign you are. Uh, right now there are five planets in Aquarius. So wherever Aquarius is in your birth chart, it is getting a huge boost. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. So definitely going to be super helpful for you to know what's going on there. So I'm recommending the Aquarius video because there probably will be at least one message somewhere in there for you. You may not resonate with the whole thing and that's totally fine. Um, I'm just letting everyone know. So if you feel prompted to do so, please go ahead and do it. Um, but with that said, let's get into your reading. So, Gemini's. Beautiful. Beautiful. Great way to start this reading. So, a new day dawns. So, we're starting a new cycle, right? We're walking in with a new perspective here with this new day dawns. It's the first card of this particular deck, which is number one. So, number of beginnings, fresh starts, I almost feel like you're also looking for a new beginning. And when I say looking, I mean everyone kind of just wants that those manifestations to appear, right? But I feel like there's some there's something in your world that want that you want changed. And this month we really kind of wake up with a perspective of really making that happen. It's no longer just something we want to dream about, think about, I'll get there one day. Like, I feel like the day is dawning, we're, we're getting to work, like we're making this happen. We're taking active steps to change whatever this is. If it's a personal thing, if it's a work thing, it's a relationship thing, whatever it is, something, it's time to change. Like you are, you're at that point where you're ready to make this happen. We're ready to start anew and be different, all right? So then our next card out, Trust in Magic. To me, this card is all about faith and putting faith in the divine, right? To me, it's, it's more emphasis on the trust, right? There's things happening, not necessarily in shadow, but things happening that we can't see yet, things that are happening backstage, behind the curtain. You know, this could be opportunities coming to us. This could be, you know, if it's related to this, this new shift for you, you know, maybe the opportunity that presents itself that opens up a way or maybe resources or a mentor figure to help you with this process. All of that, you know, hasn't arrived yet. It's coming, so it's there. It's just in the shadows and we're just in this moment where you have to trust that it's coming and that all will work out. And then it, then it simply will. Last card, nurture all you love. Love this card. Absolutely love this card. Uh, I'm trying to think. This popped up in another one of the readings, and I can't remember. I know it was one of the cardinals. Mm. Can't remember who it was. Um, anyway, not important to your reading. Nurture All You Love is really about finding things that are precious to you, embracing them. Um, I always like to kind of talk about, you know, an attitude of gratitude when this card comes up, because this is really about taking all the good that's around you and celebrating it. And, and like it says, nurture it. These might even be skills that you have that it's time to develop and to grow, right? You, we already have some, some base talent. Let's see how far we can take this. So if what you are wanting to manifest is growth in some, especially if it's in a professional aspect, this is kind of, it's kind of Eight of Pentacles energy. That's really what it is. It's really about, you know, you have this little, this, this little baby already. Like, why are we not putting the energy and effort into it, right? Versus, you know, chasing something new that might be more exciting. Sorry, there's construction going on next, or repairs going on next door. So if you hear banging, that's what it is. 
you know, but we already have, you know, this lovely little passion project. Why are we not nurturing it and, you know, helping it to grow into something that we are truly proud of and connected to? All right. Oh, that's a high one. Oh. Mm. Great start already. Look at you at the center of the reading. So powerful, Geminis. Awesome. Awesome. Look, bottom of the deck at the moment, hanged man. So definitely wanting that new perspective. Wanting to... S oh my god, stop it. Look what's underneath the hangman. Eight of Pentacles. Were we not just talking about this, friend? So we've definitely been going through some introspection recently, possibly, as we decide what this new day looks like, what this new dawn is bringing to us. And again, it's about refining yourself. It is about getting stronger, finding stability, finding confidence in what it is you do. Let's talk about these cards. So I'm bringing you guys down a little bit. So first card out, we have the devil. So this is Capricorn energy. Some of you may have been dealing with a Capricorn. To me, this is definitely past energy. For some of you, this can be obsessive behaviors. Obsessive behaviors in the way that keep you, keep you kind of in this repeat cycle. And I feel like if, if there are people out there connecting with that, these are honestly, these, I feel like these are either people or situations that are in your life that you kind of don't enjoy, right? And there, there may be parts of it that are fun, but like on a whole, like, I feel like these would be like, these would be like the friends you hang out with that you're kind of like, oh, can I go home yet? Are we done? You know, or, oh, God, I've, 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 it's Friday. We're going to go have girls' lunch, and I'm just going to hate it. Like, it's kind of that thing that you do out of routine, right? And again, it's these things that keep you in this repeat loop. And I'm just, I'm just using friends as an example. Like, it could be anything. This could be the job that, you know, you're not attached to. This could be family members. These could be, like, personal addictions, right? But it, it's just something that doesn't bring you joy like it's very vice e quote unquote you know um and people do talk about this this card in you know when they talk about addictions and things like that so i'm not saying you guys have addictions but it's that type of energy it's where something else is kind of calling the shots whether it's you know you're you're doing it out of habit you're doing it because you feel well this is kind of just what you do but this is the stuff that has come into question with this hangman moment all right Magician is you taking back your power. Magician controls the universe, right? He rules all four elements. He can make things happen. He bends him to his will. So this is you taking back your power, which I'm super happy to see. And then we also have the Hermit, which is a very solitary card. Um, normally when we're in Hermit energy, we like to kind of pull, pull inside of ourselves. You know, you might just, I need to get away for a few days and, and just be alone with my thoughts and process. Um, it is a card, to me, it's a, it's definitely a very spiritual card. It's one about kind of going within to, you know, listen to your own intuition or speak to your spirit guides, uh, you know, to connect with the source. So to me, it is a very spiritual card. Uh, honestly, almost more so than the Hierophant. When I look at the two, like, the, to me, this card gets really, really deep. Again, makes sense with this hangman. You know, I'm taking the hangman out because that's, I keep coming back to it. Um... But literally, this is you taking back your power after going through this, this period of introspection and finding your own spiritual strength, right? Connecting back to source, you know, so this devil does not have any power over you, you know? Love this. This, this definitely helps to bring this new dawn. And then even looked at the, look at the hangman. It's kind of like she's, she's looking right into that dawn right now. Love that. Love, love, love that. Then we have the Two of Wands. Great card. Makes perfect sense. This is about putting those intuitions out there. Whatever that changes, this is you doing that planning step. This is you sorting out, okay, well, what does that look like? I want to become some, you know, bomb-ass professional in my field. What do I do? How far am I from here to there? Like, what are the, the little stepping stones in between? This is, this is the planning phase, right? And then center of the reading, at the heart, King of Wands beautiful energy so again this is mastery right whenever we get a king and what's beautiful with this particular reading it's in the element of wands which is fire this is passion motivation intention we have the lion in there to kind of you know echo that kind of lion heart energy it's bold it's 
I was going to say intuitive, but that's not necessarily the word. Instinctual, that's the, that's the word I wanted. But, you know, this is someone who follows his instincts, follows his guts, follows his passion. And you kind of can't go wrong in that vibe, right? King of Wands, like, is capable, you know, when he's the Prince of Wands, he's kind of the jack of all trades. He knows enough. He knows a little about a lot, right? He knows enough to kind of get by. Once you reach King, like, that is mastery level. Like, there's no stop in you. You can make all of that happen, right? I would say one thing to be aware of, and I don't necessarily see it happening because you have all these really positive cards. I just have, have this need to throw this out there. When the King of Wands is imbalanced, that's where this can be a little little dicey, right? Because this person can get incredibly fiery. So if we're channeling that energy appropriately, you can create some wonderful, amazing things. But if this devil is still messing with you, that fire can easily turn around and burn you to a crisp. Right? You can either use it to create or to, to destroy. So great energy to be in, but again, be incredibly aware how you use this energy. I think that's why you have literally the devil up against these three major arcanas. Like literally you're being set up to push this devil out because we know this, this moment is coming for you. And literally you're in the prep phase to make sure once you get here, you know what to do with it. Right? Because if this moment is wasted, Ooh, that's going to be a blaze of glory, let me tell you. So that's why this is so significant. That's probably why this hangman, if you've been going through a really introspective period, possibly even getting into spirituality as a source to, you know, center yourself and find some grounding, beautiful. Exactly what you should be doing. Like, 100% exactly what you should be doing. And, you know, I'm... I'm more spiritual, so I'm using spirituality as an example. This could easily be, you know, religion, whatever, however you connect to source. They're all okay, right? So no judgments. But whatever that is, perfect practice for you right now. Because then, once you get in this vibe, here's that new opportunity with the Fool card. This is the fresh start. Now, this is also very leap of faithy, right? Because there's there isn't a guarantee with the Fool, right? It's great because it's, it's optimistic and hopeful. Um, we just don't want to be naive, right? And again, that's that's why this claiming your your place as King of Wands is so important, right? So whatever this new venture is for you, and you know, don't think that we're it's coming out of no like thin air. You already know what this is. Like, there's already some some little passion project of yours that you're super excited about. You want to get going, something you're invested in. This the idea of this already exists. Okay, so if, if like you don't ha aren't planning anything, don't have, you know, any any dreams to expand something, that particular moment is going to be for something else. But for those of you trying to create something, oh my God, it's going to be so abundant for you. Like I'm not even kidding, it's going to be great, absolutely amazing. We have here the six of wands, or not wands, swords. I'm sorry, I was making eye contact with this sexy beast in the middle over here. Anyway, so you have the Six of Swords. This is a card of moving on, and obviously we're moving on from a bunch of things. We're leaving this devil energy behind. We're moving past, you know, moving into this new opportunity, this new phase, so that obviously means we're moving away from something. So I will say this, for most of you, is, is kind of like the ending of an old... I don't even want to say cycle, because I, I feel like it's you're still kind of on... A continuing journey like you're moving into chapter two I don't necessarily think we're jumping into a new book but with this six of swords it does kind of make me wonder if eventually you leave a current position right so like we'll continue with the work analogy right so if this is maybe you want to start your own business or you want to you know change the way you work and be in a, a completely different role than what you have now this is you kind of moving on some of you may be leaving you know, you might find that position or find that opportunity in another company. So this would be you leaving your current, your current, you know, place of business. Or like I said, if, if you go solo, you're definitely leaving, you know, like you're, do, you're doing your own thing. But honestly, whatever it is going to be amazing. We have the Knight of Cups here. So Knight of Cups to me is always an emotional offer. So this could be someone coming, coming back. This could be honestly what I'd love to like see this as I almost feel like this is if this devil is a person for you this is someone bringing back an apology right they've seen your glow up they've seen you know and honestly they probably knew this was in you already 
they they were not surprised to see this, but they they couldn't handle you burning this brightly. So they I would say this person tried to, you know, not let you realize this was in you. And once you do and you finally find your own path and you start, you know, living your best life, that's when they find you, that's when this comes out. Not that this will stop you. I honestly I don't think it will stop you. It's literally just them confirming what you already knew about yourself. So good for you. Um, for some of you, this may show up as as new love, right, with the Knight of Cups. So, like, if you move to a different company, it might be someone that works there. Totally could. Not ruling it out, but depends depends what you're looking for, right, my lovely Geminis? Last card out, Ten of Cups. So, to me, this Ten of Cups is really connected to this Fool. Whatever this new opportunity is for you, whatever it is you're creating and building, like I said, it's going to lead to your happily ever after. For some of you, this could also be, if this is new love, this can be connected to this new love coming in and together you creating the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. So honestly, either way, couldn't, couldn't go wrong. Could not go wrong, Gemini. I'm all about it. Um, let's go to this bottom of the deck real fast because that was, that was an awesome theme. So start with the Hangman. Had the Eight of Pentacles, which is about sticking to your business, minding your grind. Even these lunar cycles up, up above is coming through really significant. And I don't always I don't always get pulled that way when I look at this card. Normally I'm looking down here at the table, right? But this particular reading, I'm looking at the at the lunar cycle. So this is just this is another another phase in the cycle, right? We talked about that earlier. It's not I don't feel like you're jumping to a new book, but you're literally going to the next chapter, right? So you are going, you are totally going through a glow up right now. We have seven of wands here, which can be a defensive energy, but for you, I think it's really about protecting your dreams, protecting your goals, right? You can see, you can see the other wands pointing at her, other people giving their opinions, their expectations, and you're like, nope, nope, I know what I want, I know what I need, I need to focus on that, because we're leaving, we're leaving some old stuff behind here with that eight of cups. So again, that's you walking away from these things that don't serve, that don't light you up, that don't feel rewarding. Three of Pentacles, all the resources coming together. Empress, creation, abundance. You have the sun underneath that. I mean, Gemini, I'm telling you, whatever this, whatever this opportunity is, it's going to lead to so much abundance. You can't even imagine. So good. But get, so any of you that are in like a creative field or are trying to move into something creative, I'm telling you, this is going to be so good for you and whoever's involved. Something super, super exciting. If you're still here, that's totally not even a bad thing because I think this is happening throughout the month of February, right? We also have Mercury retrograde, so we're looking back over things and examining things with, you know, new eyes now that we get a chance to look over it again. So honestly, if the, even this is all of February, not even a problem. But again, this this is the key, right? This little introspective you know, power up moment. This is literally the catalyst to all this good juju coming up, right? So nurture this. I love that. My phone is, what is going on over there? All right, we are going to get maybe a little deeper. Oh, hello. Someone came flying out at me. I'll grab that in a bit. of the deck. Judgment. I love that. Getting that soul mission on. Okay. Yep. Yep. Look at that. So I'm telling you, this is, this is all part of a cycle. Literally, we're going to the next phase. So we started with the Six of Pentacles, just asking you to be in the flow, be willing to give and receive. To me, this is definitely a card that encourages you to kind of play an observer role, if that makes sense. Observer in the sense where no matter what's coming, you're just kind of seeing it for what it is, taking it, and then letting it go by. You're not getting 
too incredibly attached to what's coming your way, right? Because maybe some of that has kind of felt like this Ten of Swords, but this is why we want to be observers, right? Things come in, and we're like, oh, okay, didn't like that. I'm going to just let that keep rolling along. Take it, because what that did is make you stronger here with this King of Swords. So all that air energy, which you know you're an air sign, Gemini, I don't need to tell you that. But again, this is, it's tempering you. So any of the rough stuff, you honestly should be super proud because what you've done, as it rolls in, you just rolled with the punches, you learn to adapt. You're like, okay, well, let's make this happen. I know what feels right to me, but this is also what is required of me. So where do these th two things meet? I'm gonna find a way to make that happen. Even if there's moments that sucked, even if there was some, you know, maybe there were some points where it had got a little tense, you, you push through it, you, you found your way to navigate those waters, you came out stronger and wiser in the end, and honestly, now you're getting out of that stormy sea, so kudos to you, lovelies. All right. One more little fun thing before I let you go, Geminis. Since it is February, we all know Valentine's Day is coming up. So I thought it would be fun for us to pull a little love oracle. Why not? Just a little funsies. Especially if we're talking about new love for some of you down there. Who doesn't want a little glimpse into that, right? Ooh. Ooh. We're going to take those two. We're going to put these back. Yeah. So if you want to know, the two, I don't know, maybe maybe someone out there will connect to those. The two that, that flipped out face down, religious factors and separation. So if you guys connect to that, there may be, there may be something to do with church, religion, spirituality, faith that, that causes a separation, or through a separation you find, you find source. So honestly, that's a great thing, right? Because if, if you have to separate, that just means wasn't meant to be. Look at these two lovelies. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I mean, hello, right there with that six of pentacles, give and receive, as well as give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Honestly, this feels like the two stories we talked about, right? For new love, knowing that it's safe and appropriate to do so, right? You don't have to worry. You don't have to be afraid of anything. Um, don't shoot yourself in the foot before, you know, it's even begun, right? So expect good things. And then for those of you already in a relationship, give your relationship a chance. There might be, you know, it's so funny. I look at this card. I don't necessarily see tension or, or arguments or anything like that, but it feels like maybe there's just a lot of demands on your relationship right now that are kind of keeping the two of you apart in the sense that, you know, one has to take care of things over here. The other has to take, take care of things over there. Um, and it can be straining, right? Because you're not getting as much quality time together. And maybe when you are together, you might just be so tired or you just want to veg and you don't get to, you know, share a moment, right? So if you are going through a little tense patch, this honestly, this could even be related to my single Geminis out there where, you know, maybe you've been single for so long or situations around dating have been rough and, you know, you're starting to give up hope. This card is really just saying, like, don't give up yet. Like keep trying. Whatever you're doing is good, but there it's just going to take some time. There's a few few jumps you may have to make before you get there, but it's definitely going to be worth it. I mean, you have the Ten of Cups here. We know it's going to be worth it, right? So, lots of lots of future happiness coming your way. Like I feel like February is really prep time for you. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? Everything you got to prep for everything no matter what. So just know, lots of good coming. If things are tense right now, because we did get a Ten of Swords, know that all it is is making you stronger, right? Because here you are, King of Swords, master of your element. We already know we're heading towards King of Wands, passion, desire, action, right? That's where we're going to start to implement things, okay? So big planning phase here. But again, it's, it's all down to this, how you reflect and go through this hangman moment. All right, my lovely Geminis, I am wishing you the best. Just to repeat myself, I definitely recommend you check out the chariot chats for astrology. We'll give you some dates on what to kind of, if you're feeling certain things, why, when, how to use it. Um, and check out Eric Aquarius if you feel inclined, especially if you have some strong Aquarius placements, my friends. 
Uh, but with that said, I love you guys. Take care. I appreciate all the love and support. If you could do me a favor, if you like this video, make sure you smash the like button down below. Um, it lets me know how it resonated for you. Make sure you're subscribed and have the notification bell on so you can be notified when your next reading pops up. And with that, stay safe, take care. I will see you in your next video. Bye, Gemini.